listen up. This is probably a huge decision for me because who I am as a person, I care about young men. I care about um, you guys each individually. Like I have my own unique relationship with everybody. So this is personal to me. I take I don't take this light. I don't take mentors uh, lightly. So everybody knows Saeed, right? Yeah. Everybody knows yeah. everybody, we know him. I'm basically at the end with Saeed. I gave him multiple chances. I feel like he's taking advantage. I'm removing him from the group. So if y'all can say something to me today to stop me from doing that, I, this is the time to speak up. I don't know. This is the point where he's gonna lean on y'all for support because I, my decision is already. I had to. I have to let him go. Accountability. Uh, short definition for accountability. Uh, being responsible for one's own action. That's just accountability. It's huge. That's something that's vital for these young men to know that they will be held accountable for the things that they do, whether that be positive whether that's negative, they need to understand that they will be held accountable for their actions. I low-key like see myself a hum like how I was in like fifth and sixth grade and like a little bit of seventh. Because like I was I was always on and off like and then I know you see the potential in um Saeed, that's why you continue to work with him. Like you don't want to just let him go like that because and then if you let him go out here and he out here in the streets you're not gonna have guidance and then Lord knows what can happen. So I know you're not like you like questionable about your decision. So, like, I, feel, I just feel like you should give him another chance. You said give him a chance because everybody deserves a, a chance, right? And I give you guys second chances, which I do. But I gave Saeed hmm, maybe about five, six chances. Man. <laughs> Listen, understand, I'm not really joking now. It's not, it's, not, it's not funny to me because it could be a time where I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take my hands off of him, and then he make a decision that could ruin his life. It's very important for young men to have um, adults and other men in their life to help guide them through life because there are a lot of challenges um, that come along with just growing up and a lot of challenges with, um, that comes along with being a man and becoming a man. I said I know that he has been bad stuff but it's not necessary to kick him up right now you should give him like another chance and just like during your day when you off and you just go upstairs and check on him and see if he's being bad stuff then you make up your mind to see if you want to kick him or not. But I don't think you should give up. See, you should use this as a learning opportunity. See, you don't give people as many chances as you give Taiyi. So, right now, you should use this as a template for the future. Okay. So, say in the future you find somebody else that you have to keep talking to, you should then you'll be able to look back at Taiyi. See, um, we give him one more chance if he messes up or he um does the right thing, okay. and then you can use that information for the future. Tough love is key. Tough love is needed, especially for a, a black male. It's not so much tough love, it's, it's at the end of the day, it's guidance. And you have to uh, approach these situations with that mindset. We can't go into a situation when a young man is wrong and we're allowing him to get off the hook because he's young and, and, and that's supposed to be enough. And a lot of people say, oh, because he's young, they're gonna make mistakes and they're young. That's fine. Anyone that's human is gonna make mistakes but we don't want to send a message that we're just, they can make a mistake and it's okay for them to continue to make a mistake. You you saying you with me during club when you not with me. So that means if something happened to you, you saying you with me, so it's on me, right? Yeah. So it's parents and, and, and people that care about him, they call to me, but you're not with me. So what I'm saying is, when do I get the respect I deserve? When do I, when do I get chances? When do I get chances? You're not giving nothing, you only take it. You ain't giving nothing in return. And the only thing I ask for y'all in return is to make sure you go to class and get an education. Make sure you pick the right friends. Make sure you respect adults and others. That's all I'm asking, I'm not asking y'all for nothing. I don't want anything in return. I know Saeed, he wants to do better, but it's some, I guess it's something that's making him not do better. So I guess if, if you give him one more chance to prove himself, if he, don't, if he can't prove himself then, he should, you that's when you should get come out the group. And also with, with, with the tough love, um, it's very important for you to um, sit and break down the scenario or the situation to the young man. That's very important. I think a lot of people miss that because we assume that because they're of a certain age, 
they should be able to understand what they did, why they did it, the consequences. No, they do not. I sit down with a lot of young men and have honest conversations and I realize they weren't even aware of the significance of the situation. I stand on my word. So my word in my mind, before I presented that to y'all, was I was done. So for me to back off my word, that's big for me because I normally don't do that. I normally don't bend like that. I don't. Throughout these conversations with these young men and holding them accountable and giving them tough love, it's also good to have a balance. So I give them tough love, but I also give them love as well. It's not so much I'm gonna get on them and, and, and hound on their back and, and, and beat them down. No, 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 I have to, what I learned to do is adjust and give them a balance. So I give them a balance of uh, the scenario. I give them a balance of the consequences. And I also tell them that throughout the process, I love you and I care about you. And I'm telling you this because I care about you. Because life isn't promised. Um, I think we take that for granted. And I don't want these young men to take that for granted because, um, as I said, the current state we're in right now, a lot of these young men aren't reaching their full potential because of, of decisions. And because nobody sat down and told them the scenario. And nobody told them and broke that down to them and told them that um, one decision could ruin your life. And that's the message I want to send is that take the time out to have these conversations with these young men. Let them know the consequences and let them know you just want them to do better. And that's what I do. And that's a push for everybody. Um, hold them accountable, yes, but also find a balance to get them love as well because that's needed too. It has to be a, a balance of the two.